What's up guys and welcome back to another bot builds video. Today we're going to be covering Victor Saltspire. So my talents for him are honestly the exact same that I use uh, myself. You have Walking Judgment, damaging for THP, Flens, a little extra bleed damage when you melee attack, Assassin, uh, Wild Fervor gives you increased critical uh, hit chance when you're when taggable enemies uh, are killed. Um, I don't know how much bots are going to be pushing, but this is a pretty good talent if he maybe even does it once in a while. Um, it's solid. And then Unending Hunt um, benefits the whole party and is uh, you know has a shorter cooldown if he if he doesn't right, which he might not do. He's a bot, so who knows? But for the gear, um, the Axe and Falchion I have found to be like pretty good on a bot. Um, so bots tend to favor like light attacks when they are fighting, and the, the Axe and Falchion has very fast, really quick light attacks. Um, it's it's got decent stagger force. You know the cleave's a little bit low on some of those attacks, but it's fast enough that the bot will be able to just keep swinging and mashing, and he'll actually do all right. He'll do good damage, and he'll usually not get hit too much with that. I just go for chaos and crit chance and swift slaying on here. You can do like armor or whatever you think is um, more preferable for you, for your bot, whatever you want them to focus on. I just like chaos, they have more health. Um, the range weapon here, I use the Brace of Pistols for my bot here, Crit Chance, Scaven, Scrounger. Um, Scrounger lets him, you know, get more ammo back, so therefore he's able to shoot more. Bots tend to waste ammo, so ammo back traits are really important on range weapons. I don't go with the crossbow on him simply because I'm not using death knell, but if you were to use death knell, the crossbow would be uh, pretty solid with him. And for the necklace, health block cost reduction, um, natural bond, this gives him 30 BCR. And this is a bot that I want to be attacking more often, which is why I don't want, I'm not going for like stamina block cost reduction on my melee weapon here. I actually want him to do a little bit of damage, which under captain's a pretty big damage class. And even though he takes a lot, he can actually dish out quite a bit. And then I have Natural Bond here. If bots have Natural Bond on, they will not use healing items unless they're gray. So that's actually kind of nice. I can just give him a tome and, or, or not, and he won't hog all the healing. He takes a lot of damage, so um, that's, that's a good thing. Actually, I, I don't want him to waste all my healing. And then the charm again, just whatever you think is preferable here. I've doubled up on chaos. I've given him a little bit of attack speed. The trait doesn't matter. Um, you can go for armored in chaos. You can go for scaven chaos. At the end of the day, it's really not a huge difference because he is a bot and he's only going to do so much damage. Um, the trinket, again, the trait doesn't matter. Curse resistance if you're doing legend and under. Crit chance if you're doing like cataclysm for some reason with a bot or you're just not going for books. Uh, take out curse resistance, put in stamina recovery, thank me later. That's my witch hunter captain. Next up we have bounty hunter, and bounty hunter is, in my opinion, the worst possible bot you could take um, into a into a map, so kind of don't use him, but if you're going to, here's something for you. Um, what makes bounty hunter kind of tough to use is his THP talents here. He's got um, crit hit strikes and headshots restored to temporary health, crit, and crit headshots restored twice as much, yada yada and then killing blows for 10 health. He doesn't have like a staggering or a, a damaging something nice and easy that a bot can just hit and whatever. So I'm giving him the rapier, which is what I normally use, um, and then blood for money. This isn't gonna generate a lot of 10 health with him, but neither is killing blows because there are better classes out there that'll do more melee damage, mainly you as the player if you're taking bots. But say you have like a grail knight or you have like a shade or something, you know, those are gonna, those guys are gonna get most of the kills. So the bounty hunter's not gonna make much temp health this way. And he's really not gonna make much temp health this way because I don't know how great they are at hitting headshots, but this is this is probably the way you'll get the most temp health out of him. Um, open wounds is pretty good. Critical hits, 20% um, increased damage. That's melee, that's range. Super nice. Um, assassins, very good melee talent. Let's do um, that much more damage. And I actually use Blessed Combat on my Bounty Hunter bot. Um, if he, you know, melee hits up to six times, um, let your ranged weapon do 15% more damage. And then ranged hits up to six times, let your melee weapon do 15% um, more damage. It is something to note that it doesn't start with melee strikes. So if you'll see, if you'll look in the bottom left corner here, 
I'm meleeing, but I'm not getting the proc. So you have to start with range, and then you'll get the proc, and it'll do more melee damage that way. I don't know why it's like that, but you have to start with range. So just keep that in mind if you're using it um, yourself. And then job well done. Um, elites or specials that are killed, he gets um, one damage reduction buff for each one, stacking up to 30 times, a total of 30% damage reduction. Really great talent, especially if you're bot, which he does. Bounty Hunter gets hit a lot. And then his beefy double shot ultimate is probably the best thing about him, as he is able to do uh, pretty decent monster damage. And for, somehow he pretty much headshots this every time. So he'll get the cooldown back. He'll do lots of damage. I mean, if he can live that long, pretty sweet. The equipment, as I said, I use the rapier on him. Attack speed, block cost reduction, parry. I don't know that the bot knows how to use like the alt fire parry trick, but I'm loading up on block cost reduction for him. You can definitely swap out that attack speed and go for like stamina if you want. I just feel like I want him to swing faster and make more temp health. That's just me. And then the crossbow is how I, my normal setup, chaos, crit power, scrounger. Really good in conjunction with the charm over here with the same thing. Chaos, crit power, the trait doesn't matter. Let you hit pretty much any breakpoint on legend um, with a crit. Um, the necklace, I give him stamina, block cost reduction. You can go for health. Um, it might make a little difference, but definitely a natural bond. He gets hit so much, takes tons of damage. Um, you don't want him drinking all your healing and wasting it away. And then the trinket, of course, curse, crit chance, shrapnel, stamina recovery if you're not going for books. That is Bounty Hunter. The third and final bot class that we are going to go over is my personal favorite. Yes, we went from worst to first, is Zealot. Um, as you can see, he's got the Axe and Falchion on him, so damaging for THP, yes. This is better than killing blows because, because listen, Grail Knight exists now. And pretty much every game you're going to go into is going to have a Grail Knight. And Grail Knight steals kills. So if your Zealot is a killing blow Zealot, you're not going to make any temp health. You are really going to struggle because Grail Knight's faster than you. He can get to enemies before you and he can kill them. So you might as well just take damaging, really good with Boon Shalia. Excellent te uh, temp health generation this way with the X and Falchion. Fast swings let you make a lot of temp health or your bot make a lot of temp health. Casting gets very good when he loses health. He gets more attack speed up to um, 20%. I believe, yes. Um, pretty good. Uh, he's also got Smite, which is like every five hits crit chance. That's, you know, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's, it's probably not better than casting it, honestly. Um, but, you know, if you want to do maybe a little bit more damage or have a consistent thing and take crit chance off his gear, hey, why not? Unbending Purpose is just another stack of power. 5% It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, casting it's his best one. Smiter, absolutely. The really only choice here. Holy Fortitude is his most important talent. Each stack of Fiery Faith increases healing received by 15%. So when he has his max stacks, he'll make just about double healing. If you have Boon Shalion, it'll be more than uh, twice as much healing, I believe. Yes. Yes, it'll be uh, 120% uh, healing. So, excellent. And then down here, Redemption Through Blood's a good talent. When he takes damage, he gets his stamina back, but he's a bot. So... I don't know if he's really going to block that much, so I just give him a flat 10% damage reduction rate um, just to make him a little bit more tanky. Nothing really special there. And then Feel Nothing's his ultimate um, lets him kind of survive just a little bit longer. If he Bots tend to dash into patrols, you know, so like this is just something. If he happens to do that, he's not going to die for a few seconds. Hopefully he'll be smart enough to either kill the patrol or get out of there, and that's kind of why I have that there. The equipment, Axe and Falchion, again, I used Chaos Crit Chance. Swift Slang, same thing I had on Witch Hunter Captain. You can switch that to block cost stamina if you want, but Zealot is a damage dealer. He can do some pretty good damage, and he doesn't really need to block as much as the other classes. He's a bit more tanky. Getting that healing back, or that temp health back, is uh, is more important, I think. Embrace of Pistols is his best choice for a ranged weapon here. Crit Chance, Skaven, Scrounger. He will actually kill specials. He kills more specials than any bot. I think even a waste dodger. I mean, it's weird. He just, he's good at it. He he helps out with specials. So, but only with the brace of pistols, weirdly enough. So, take them. They're really good. Now the necklace, health block cost reduction, obviously, is a must. You can use two things here for your trait. You can use natural bond, which will 
pretty much make him immortal or you can use Boonashalia for that extra temp health generation. It's kind of up to you what you think your bot is like gonna live longer with. Because the goal of building a bot is to get them to survive, right? It's not really about like maximum damage output. You want that kind of, but more than anything, you want them to survive, especially a zealot bot. So natural bond, when he gets real low, he'll heal more. So he'll get health back more. He's gonna, you know, miss out on some damage that way, but he's a bot, so it doesn't really matter. Or Boonashalia, lets him just generate more temp health anyway kind of riding that edge of like hey i want to i want to live longer but i also want to do more damage so it's really up to you but either of those two are solid choices and then my charm i have armored infantry the trait doesn't matter you can do whatever combination here it really doesn't matter just don't do like don't do like monsters and crit power or something you know do like something smart like chaos and skaven chaos armor armor and skaven armored infantry something like that Trinket, Curse, Crit, uh, Shrap, Shrapnel doesn't matter. Um, I believe these are all the same for all my classes. If you're not going to use Curse, not going to go for books, use Stamina Recovery. Um, that'll help your bot out quite nicely. And that is my Saltspire bots, guys. Um, hopefully this helped you out in some way and you were able to use this or something similar to it and finish them out with some bots. Catch you later.